Complete trust in God. That's what holy humility is. Complete obedience to God without protest, without reaction, even when some things seem difficult and unreasonable. Abandonment to the hands of God. The words that we repeat during the Divine Liturgy say it all. Let us commend our whole life to Christ our God. The secret prayer of the priest says the same thing. We commend our whole life and hope to you, O loving Master, and we entreat you and beseech you and supplicate you. To you, O Lord, we leave everything. This is what trust in God is. This is holy humility. This is what transfigures a person and makes him a God-man. The humble person is conscious of his inner state, and however unsightly it is, he does not lose his personality. He knows he is sinful and is grieved by that, but he does not despair and he does not annihilate himself. The person who possesses holy humility does not speak at all. That is, he doesn't react. He accepts to be criticized and rebuked by others without getting angry and defending himself. He does not lose his equilibrium. The opposite happens with the egoist, the person who has a sense of inferiority. To begin with, he seems humble, but if he is goaded a little, he immediately loses his calm and is irritated and upset. The humble person believes that all things depend on Christ and that Christ gives his grace, and in that way, he makes progress. The person who possesses holy humility lives even now in the earthly, uncreated church. He always has the joy of Christ, even in the most displeasing circumstances.